Welcome to News Watch 12 at 5. I'm Justin Betty. Today, a Wisconsin judge upheld Governor Evers' mask mandate. We'll have more on that in a few minutes. But first, the list of many things the COVID-19 pandemic appears to have made worse also includes domestic violence. News Watch 12's Georgina Fernandez joins us now live in studio to explain. Georgina. Justin, back in March, Governor Evers passed a stay-at-home order trying to keep residents safe from COVID-19. But while some sheltered in their homes, others found themselves living in an unsafe condition. COVID doesn't make people abuse. Just like alcohol doesn't make, like, make abusers abuse. Um, it's there without COVID. What was meant to keep citizens safe inside their homes left others even more vulnerable. And there might be an increase of incidences happening at home. Um, because they are together. Angela Schills, a domestic violence activist at Tri-County Council on Domestic Violence in Rhinelander, says they saw a drop in cases during the stay-at-home order last spring. But fear calls doesn't mean violence at home isn't happening. They have access to a phone. The fear of being caught by their abuser um, is very strong. Yeah, just him being there all the time, looking over their shoulder, or her being there um, all the time is, is fearful. Shields says COVID is not causing more incidents of domestic violence to occur, but it does limit the opportunity for it to stop due to a lack of accessible resources. And once the order was lifted, those fears came to life. The increase that we saw was based on not being able to reach out during the lockdown. Now with a surge of COVID-19 cases in the winter months quickly approaching, shelters could see a similar trend like they did in spring. It necessarily means that there's domestic violence, um, perhaps a little less of victims reaching out um, because, um, because people spend more time indoors. Another stay-at-home order could cause more individuals to be limited in accessing help through Facebook, hotline, and visiting the facility. But the problem is beyond COVID. Domestic violence, like I said, doesn't happen because of COVID. It's already most likely happening before any of this. Shield recommends that victims who are struggling to leave their homes make a readiness plan, which includes knowing their exes, letting neighbors know about their current situation, and even having a backup phone. Justin. Outside, Jeff, a lot of rain earlier today. I heard some thunder, too. Yep, plenty of rain today, but now the sun is out until it sets at 617 tonight. Tomorrow, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies, followed by a lot of rain showers getting in here again on Wednesday. Here is the rain that came through the area earlier. Again, some areas saw close to an inch of rainfall from this, but now the sun's out uh, for another hour or so until it sets. But back off to the west, those are clouds back off that direction. Those will be in here later on tonight. It's also been an incredibly windy day for us, as you know. Winds out of the west around 16 miles per hour sustained right now. We've had wind gusts near 40 miles per hour in a few spots across Vilas County, Oneida County as well today. This will die down tonight, but be back again tomorrow out of the south for one more day. And then a cold front is going to come through for us on Wednesday and really change our lives later on next week. Temperatures out there now at 54 in Rhinelander, 56 for Opaca. So it's nice out there now, but just wait. There's a bit of snow in the seven day forecast tonight though not so much low temperatures down near 40 under partly cloudy skies your full forecast is coming up Justin. thanks jeff a wisconsin judge has upheld governor evers mask mandate in the face of a conservative challenge st croix county circuit judge r michael waterman ruled today evers did not overstep his authority by issuing multiple emergency orders on coronavirus evers says the mask order was within his power and that he has followed the recommendation of public health experts the lawsuit argued argued Evers can issue only one emergency declaration per crisis without legislative approval. It is worth noting the ruling also said legislature does have the power to overturn the order if they have the votes. The Three Lakes School District is moving 7th and 8th grade to remote learning for the next 10 days following three cases of COVID-19. District spokesperson said today one student and two staff members tested positive. The high school will remain open for in-person learning for now 
now. The 7th and 8th grade building is slated to return October 22nd, though that is subject to change. The district says they have contacted students and staff who were in close contact with the infected individuals, and they are cleaning every part of the building as part of their regular preventative measures. Marathon County health officials report three new COVID-19 deaths today, those since Friday. They've now seen 30 deaths since the COVID-19 pandemic began. In our 12 county North Central Wisconsin region, DHS reports 112 people in the hospital right now with COVID-19. That's about where we were for much of last week. They say 23 of those are in the ICU. Across the state, DHS reports just shy of 2,000 new cases today, along with nine new deaths. Australian researchers have found the coronavirus can survive 28 days on glass, currency, money, and stainless steel. That's from a study done by Australia's National Science Agency. It appears to show that in a very controlled environment, at least, the virus remained infectious for longer than other studies had found, with more recent ones finding the virus died fairly quickly. For example, 28 days again, much longer than the flu virus can survive on objects. Researchers said today their findings highlight the need for cleaning and hand washing to combat the virus. The experiments show the virus again survived in lower temperatures as well. Had believed to be mostly airborne. An inmate in a Wisconsin prison says it is not providing adequate health care to inmates with COVID-19. The inmate sent a letter from a state facility that reported more than 200 COVID-19 cases alone so far. Bab Santos' details. The mother of an inmate at Dodge Correctional Institution in Waupon says her son's cellmate sent her this letter. She spoke with Fox 11 off camera, but asked a friend to be a spokesperson on camera. She's very fearful that her son not only will have retaliation for coming forward. The letter says no one confirmed the COVID-19 test results of the cellmates. No one has taken their temperatures, their blood pressure, or done anything to provide medical care. My cellmate says he lost his smell and his body aches. The anxiety of not knowing is killing us and causing undue stress. As a prison reform advocate for ACLU and Esther Fox Valley, Bev Kelly Miller gets this kind of mail all the time. I've heard too many horror stories from people who are inside who were ignored. They're not saying, hey, I didn't do this crime. I shouldn't be here. They're saying, I'm sick. I need help. In response to the letter, the Department of Corrections says it has health care workers committed to taking care of their patients. Inmates are generally informed if they've tested positive and that institutions with large outbreaks, all inmates are treated as if they've been exposed. We've been doing as, as much as we can according to CDC and DHS guidelines. DOC also wrote in part, there is no cure for COVID-19 and no proven therapeutics. So in many cases, all that can be done is treat symptoms. Records show as of Friday, Dodge Correctionals had 235 inmates diagnosed with COVID-19. Two inmates have died. Other state prisons have experienced higher test results. Oshkosh, 389. Kettle Moraine, 709. This is not an easy time for anyone, um, especially those that are in our care. We really take that into consideration as we balance our operations and try to make sure that we're making decisions to keep people safe. DOC says its early release program has been expanded. Bev Kelly Miller wants more. We're only asking that non-violent people who were convicted of a, um, of a crime be released within six months of the release date. It's Bab Santos reporting. Outer space has captured people's imaginations for millennia. We spoke to one Northwoods man about his passion for the stars and how he's sharing that with others. That's After Weather with Jeff right here on Newswatch 12. Get up and get going. It's time to get your fusion with a limited time offer. And well, let's just say more like Copilot 360, Bliss, Lane Keeping System, Pre-Collision Assist, Adaptive Cruise Control, Wi-Fi Hotspot, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Woo, that's a lot. What are you waiting for? Get to your Ford dealer today.
Right now, get Fusion with 0% financing for 66 months plus 3,000 cash back. Or lease one for just $1.99 a month. Hurry in. High Point Sand and Gravel provides high quality riprap, sand, and screened topsoil for almost any need. The high quality rock and stone, boulders, and clear stone enhance the function and beauty of your home or business. Offering convenient delivery or pickup throughout northern Wisconsin and the UP, High Point Sand and Gravel provides premium landscaping materials specializing in producing beautiful decorative stone for all types of landscaping projects. Contact High Point Sand and Gravel to help make your next project a dream come true. Advice from trial attorneys, lawyers for the injured. Don't hire a mail order lawyer based on a fancy brochure. You need a lawyer who is battle tested. One you can trust to fight for you and your family. The Mater legal team will give you more than promises. We'll get the job done. Hi, this is State Representative Rob Swearingen. Northern Wisconsin is a great place to grow up and call home. It's where I met my wife Amy, we raised our daughters, and we've run our restaurant for nearly 30 years. We face new challenges as a state this year, and as your representative, I've worked hard to help our communities and families get through them. It's an honor to bring our Northwoods values with me to Madison. On November 3rd, I'm asking for your vote for assembly so that we can continue working together to get things done, paid for by Friends of Swearing. Huge online auction in Eagle River. Like new pontoon boats, sea dew, boat lifts, John Deere tractor, hot tub, expensive Northwoods furniture, and more. Contact Brass and St. Louis Auctions for more details. You and I should probably talk for a minute. We have much cooler temperatures on the way. In fact, by this weekend, we'll have highs in the 30s and maybe a hint of snow back in the forecast before the weekend actually gets here. Today, though, it was all rain, uh, almost an inch in Rhinelander, or Anago saw a half an inch there. So you get the idea, a healthy rain for all of us today. That is now done and pushing off to the east of us. We are in clearing out mode for now, but look off to the west. That is increased cloud cover out there right now. We're going to clear things out now, but get mostly cloudy by about midnight tonight as we kick in a south wind. Uh, that'll bring in some more clouds for us for tomorrow. But right now, it is beautiful outside. The skies have cleared out. The rain is gone. It's perfect, albeit a bit chilly still. Look at this. In Plover right now, the sun's out, uh, which, by the way, sets at 617 these days. Uh, but the pond is kind of quiet currently. The sun's out. Nothing but a cloud up there across the area right now but here we go we have much cooler temperatures on the way and once they get here uh, they're not going to go anywhere anytime quickly uh, as we have a lot of cold air to get through so here we are today so it looks like hey we're in good shape right uh, building some warmth across the Midwest but that's not really going to stay there uh, our air is going to come from this way as it does this time of year typically the cold air wins this time of year and we have some cooler temperatures on the way outside right now not so much it's 54 in Rhinelander 54 also for Tom Wally, almost 60 in Wisconsin Rapids and with Packa 56. Uh, but don't get too used to these temperatures because they're going to change in a big way. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow we're still okay. So here we are today uh, in the kind of cool air, right? Uh, put this in motion though. Here comes that push of cold air for us on Wednesday. And then once it gets here with earnest Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, here we are in the next week. It keeps getting reinforcements sending down and we're going to keep that cold air in place, especially across northern Wisconsin. That could give us a few high temperatures in the 30s. Are you ready? Here we go. 58 tomorrow. We got this right. Then 48 for Wednesday. Uh oh. And then the bottom falls out. Thursday 40, 41 Friday. That means much of the day spent in the 30s on all these days. It lows in the 20s. And there's a couple little systems coming our way that could give us some rain showers during the day and some snow showers at night. And then looking long range, here we are October 19th to the 25th, so end of October, right? We're going to keep that cold there in place across our neck of the woods as the coasts are kind of warm, right? Across there and over here, but not so much across the Midwest. Okay, so here's our current snow depth. You're saying, why is he showing me this graphic? Well, uh, this is actually below where it was last year, but we have a chance to bring some snow in here by the weekend. Right now, though, low pressure one kind of getting out of here as we speak. Low pressure two, this is our weather on Wednesday. Behind that, really cold air flows in. And then behind that, there are several more systems uh, with the cold air in place that could bring us some light snow showers over the weekend. Your forecast tonight, though, is mostly cloudy skies to partly cloudy skies. Still a bit breezy. Uh, the wind will shift out of the southwest with low temperatures down near 40 for tomorrow. 
All right, so partly cloudy, still kind of breezy. A couple of sprinkles can't be ruled out as the warmer air kind of floods in with high temperatures near 60. And then looking ahead, your seven day forecast by Northwest Furniture Mattress shows that slight chance for a few sprinkles tomorrow. There's that rain is now likely on Wednesday, kind of like early this morning, right? Highs near 48. And then look what happens Thursday and Friday, lots of sunshine, followed by our next system getting in here Saturday and Sunday with rain and some snow showers. Justin. Thanks, Jeff. Portage County Parks has made the decision not to open. In Standing Rocks Park's downhill ski area for the upcoming season, not because of COVID-19, but rather water levels on Bear Lake. They're high. Park officials say that makes it unsafe for skiers. However, cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, and fat tire biking are still on for the upcoming season. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and local health officials say they've seen many new improvements in genetic testing and how they look for signs of breast cancer in recent years. There's now another threat, though, that people need to be concerned about. Folks delaying their screenings, not getting checked because they're afraid of COVID-19. For individuals that have a family history of either someone who had breast cancer at a young age, or have more than two individuals on the same side of the family, like maternal versus paternal, that would warrant additional evaluation through genetic testing. There are other genetic risk factors as well. But it's a modeling group that is estimating that we will see, instead of decreases in breast cancer mortality, increases of, of about 1%. And across a huge group of people, that's big numbers saying that's because they're not getting tested like they should. If you are concerned about your breast health, officials say you should consult your doctor. We'll have more on this story coming up on Newswatch 12 at 6. The North Lakeland Discovery Center hosted its second astronomy night la late last week. Newswatch 12's Cooper Henkel drove up to meet the man behind the project, sharing his passion for stars. World Space Week came to a close in the Northwoods at the North Lakeland Discovery Center. Warm weather and clear skies drew dozens out, but the real show was out of this world. James Head has been volunteering with NASA for years to put on these events. He has a passion for the stars and the planets and astronomy in general, but his big passion is sharing what he knows with the public. The socially distanced stargazing included making a pocket solar system. Ceres, the asteroid, and then asteroid belt used to be a planet for a while too, and they demoted it to, to a dwarf planet. Examining a chunk of crashed metal from outer space. We have a real meteorite here on the table you're free to inspect. And a close look at our solar system's two biggest giants. Okay, anybody want to take a look? I'm going to try to shield the light from you though. That's Jupiter. And those are the moons. You can kind of see the rings here. Star parties are more than just an entertaining chance to learn about our place in space. They're the foundations for a lifelong passion that builds to this. Here, I can automate the dome, the shutter, the telescope, have them all sync together. I can work in a warm room and operate the telescope uh, remotely. And once I set it up, it's set up forever. The heads relocated from California to Minocqua a few years back. So almost every summer uh, in my childhood and almost every other summer of the rest of my life, I would take a visit to northern Wisconsin. And I almost regretted going back to California. Building their own home gave Jim a chance to go all in on observing and a new community eager to share his passion. About 50% of the people that come to our star parties walk away just completely amazed because they feel just in awe about the connection they can't really put their hand on. Head says keeping their eyes on the stars will help their futures shine a little brighter. Well, I just hope that everybody has a chance to uh, understand more about our place in space. That uh, the universe is an amazing place and we're part of it. And there's one common denominator amongst all human beings and all life is that we all are part of the universe. From planet Earth, Cooper Henkel, Newswatch 12. Well, switching gears here, the Packers remain red hot as they start off their season. How are they preparing, though, after their bye week for a big challenge ahead? We will hear from the team after the break. Saturday, October 24th, the Wisconsin Department of Justice will be holding a free prescription drug take-back event. 
If you have unused or unwanted medications, ointments, patches, non-aerosol sprays, inhalers, vials, or pet medication, clean out your medicine cabinets. Don't let your old medication fall into the wrong hands by disposing of unused or unwanted medications properly. For more information on locations and accepted items, go to doseofrealitywi.gov. This information is brought to you by the Human Service Center of Forest, Vilas, and Oneida County. Your local Goodwill has been the Halloween headquarters for generations of trick-or-treaters. Stop in and create your one-of-a-kind look. With new-to-you items arriving daily, Goodwill has everything you need for adding flair or scare to your Halloween. Plus, every purchase you make supports more than one and a half hours of job training and opportunities for people with barriers to employment in your community. How's that for a treat? Goodwill. Donate. Shop. Bring good home. Northland Basement Systems is the all-things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. At Mastercraft, we engineer doors that turn houses into homes. From traditional doors that everyone loves to custom doors as unique as you. Open, close, swing, slide, and slam, day after day after day. Mastercraft, great doors, inside and out, exclusively at Menards. Get 11% off everything, including Mastercraft doors, now at Menards. It's that time of year when Madison politicians try to rewrite history. Well, Patrick Teston's not fooling anyone. After he took their cash, Teston helped the insurance company score, single-handedly blocking protections for people with pre-existing conditions. And when Foxconn came knocking, Teston voted to give them billions of our taxpayer dollars for nothing in return. No accountability, no guaranteed jobs. In Madison, Teston's working for the special interests, not us. And that's the T. The Green Bay Packers remain undefeated and atop the NFC North, thanks in part to not having to play a game at all yesterday. That's not because of a, of a COVID-19, however. The Packers just had an early bye this year. The team is 4-0 right now. They and the Seahawks, the only undefeated teams left in the NFC. Now, normally, a bye week, players travel, see family. They couldn't this year because of COVID-19, but staying in Green Bay might have helped the team, according to head coach Matt LaFleur. Just staying here for, for everybody. I think the guys looked forward to coming back in the building and, and seeing one another and, you know, uh, just the camaraderie that they have is, is pretty special. Of course, Green Bay is not the safest place in the world right now. Brown County has a lot of COVID-19 cases recently. Players say they are being smart. I think our guys are, are being responsible and, and trying to take the appropriate actions to, to make sure that we all stay safe. Packers hit the road this weekend. They face Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Sunday. We're back with one final look at your forecast after the break. Blue skies right now. Gas taxes, income taxes, social security taxes. 47 years and Joe Biden's voted to raise them all. Biden's voted for higher taxes on your marriage, on your kids, on your retirement, and even when you die. Guess what? If you elect me, I'm not going to have you. Your taxes are going to be raised, not cut. Experts say Biden's plan means higher taxes on all income groups. When Joe Biden says he'll raise your taxes, he means it. America First Action is responsible for the content of this advertising. What a great time to get a new bath or shower with Tundraland. Get 75% off installation and a free upgrade to an amazing jacuzzi shower head. Jacuzzi knows how to make water feel really good, and your new shower will really make you smile. Beautiful designs installed in a day and backed with a lifetime warranty. Get 75% off the installation and a free upgrade to an amazing jacuzzi shower head. Visit Tundraland.com today. We took a bad economy that was falling and turned it around. Trump took a good economy and drove it back into the ditch. Through his failure to get COVID under control, his failure to deliver real relief to working people, 
Does he not understand and see the tens of millions of people who've had to file for unemployment this year so far? The people who lost wages or the cost of groceries have gone up dramatically? Donald Trump has been almost singularly focused on the stock market, the Dow and NASDAQ. Not you, not your families. My plan will help create at least 5 million new, good-paying jobs and create them right here in the United States of America. Let's use this opportunity to take bold investments in American industry and innovation so the future is made in America. I'll be laser-focused on working families. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. All right, here we go in the semifinals. This is when you got to step your game up. A brand new obstacle that'll make their heads spin. Hold on for dear life. Oh, my. American Ninja Warrior, tonight on NBC. America's gonna fall in love with you. Woo. All right, buddy, plenty of sunshine out there right now, uh, but these minutes are numbered. The sun sets at 617 tonight. Temperature's okay. We're in the 50s, a couple of 60s out there as well, but these hours are numbered because we have more cold air on the way because the rain is now gone. Cold front number one came through, cleared us out now. Cold front two gets here on Wednesday. That's the one that's really going to change our lives. So tomorrow, kind of like today, right? Near 60, maybe a couple sprinkles around through the afternoon. Wednesday, pretty much an all-day rain, followed by that cold front Wednesday night. And then look at high temperatures Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, high is near 40, meaning much of the time in the 30s. It's going to be a little bit of a change. Yeah. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you for joining us on Newswatch 12 at 5. NBC Nightly News is next. We'll see you back here again at 6 with more.